Sir, I'm planning for CP exam for many months now. It is being pushed from one month to the another and I'm not able to give the exam. I'm not able to prepare, sir. My office is really taking a toll. These month ends, these quarter ends and these year ends are not letting me prepare for the exam. Can you help me, sir, in some way or the other in terms of devising me what is the right strategy for clearing the CP exam? Is this a question that you have? If yes, then this video belong to you. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Jingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Many of the CPA aspirants are struggling to prepare and finally sit for the CPA exam because somewhat, somewhere, whenever they think that they have to give the exam, their preparation is going for toss because of these month ends and quarter ends because of the job which is which is really taking a toll on them. And you're not new my friend, if you're thinking like this, you're not new. It was a same story with me, it is the same story with many of the CPA spirits. So not to worry, today we'll be discussing on and I'll be giving you some of the my tips that have really worked with me, really worked for me. I'm sure you know that would certainly certainly help you in your CPA journey. See, one of the problem that any and every CPA aspirant has is that they do not have a disciplined study schedule. And I was no different. When I was giving my CPA exam, I was part of controllership group of Wipro at that point in time. And I completely correlate that, that these month ends and these quarter ends are always into the picture, which is not letting us, letting us prepare for the exam. One of the basic problem that any and every CPA aspirant has is that they're not able to sit and prepare and do questions. Now, this is a very obvious and a very common problem I have observed in any, I would say, person who is in a job because he's not able to get time out of the job and sit and have a relaxed mind in terms of studying what he really needs to. I was no different. I had the same problem when I was preparing for my CPA exam. And today I'll be discussing few things that really helped me, I would say, getting over the curve and, and coming up with the flying flying colors and clearing all the exams in one sitting and so on and so forth. And this is the same philosophy we follow with all the Fentrammers also in terms of guiding them that, you know, what they should be doing in terms of their CPA preparation. I can tell you one thing that you can certainly start off with, which really helped me is having a short term plan being done. So what I did was that I started planning for week and then another week and then another week and so on and so forth. So I effectively, I didn't thought that, you know, I'll cover, uh, you know, 10 things in, 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 in a month or so. I just thought that, you know, this is the week and I will cover one, two, three. And then maybe on a Saturday or Sunday, I'll, I'll, I'll re re start rethinking on it and prepare for the next week and so on and so forth. So the first thing first that I would tell you is that just prepare for a week. Very important that we and there would be and why I'm saying week is because there would be some weeks in which you'll be super busy. For example, when you're closing a quarter, let's say last week of June and, and first week of July, you'll be super busy, you know it. And you'll plan your week accordingly that, you know, this week I'm going to be super busy. So I will be only devoting these many number of hours and so on and so forth. So when you start planning for week, you would start assessing yourself that which is a lighter week for yourself and which is a heavier week for yourself. So that would effectively mean that when you know that this is a lighter week and when you know that this is a heavy week, you know, I can't do, I can do very less in this and I can do more in this. So you'll start preparing accordingly. So the first thing first is, Plan your weeks. I'm not saying months. I'm not saying quarters. I'm not saying years. Plan your week in advance as to what you will cover. That is the first thing that helped me. Second, always plan morning schedule and night schedule. I in fact did uh, the weekday schedule also, the, the day schedule also. I tell you what I did. I always used to study in the morning because morning was the only time I was a bit relaxed uh, in my whole day. So generally when we are in a job, no, we don't know when the day will end. We only know when the day will start. So the only thing that I can control is 
that I know that I have to be in office at 9 30 10 so the only thing I can control is that I can wake up early so that I can have at least hour and a half or two to prepare for something that I've already planned for a week so my thought is that morning one and a half to two hours is something that you should plan to study come what may and when I'm saying that you should plan I'm not saying that you should only plan and, and that and let that to be a theoretical plan for you no when you're planning you have to adhere to that plan and you have to do it now how you should plan we're talking on that morning hour and a half or two I I personally feel that you know if you're able to you know give hour and a half or two every day you're home you're home from the preparation standpoint you will certainly come up with flank flank colors so hour and a half in the morning or two in the morning is something that you should do in terms of preparing the, the content and, and knowing the content, going through the chapters, going through the sessions uh, and so on and so forth. And then towards the night, you should plan that you should practice MCQ of the topic that you've done in the morning. Because in the night, our ability to uh, go through the content after the whole office hours, as in full office hours of the entire day, it is very difficult. It is very difficult to devote that peace of mind to the content in terms of getting into the details, understanding that, listening to the video, listening and to the content and so on and so forth. It is very difficult. What is in your hand is that you can practice the questions of what you have done in the morning. That is easier. What I used to do was that I used to practice the question during the entire day. I uh, At that point in time, there was CD that was being available. So we we installed the software into our office PC and I used to do questions. Now it is web based, right? You can just log in, log out from anywhere. You know, all our uh, LMSs are being available to you at, at your ease. So just log in on to, on to, you know, when you're in office and you have some time, let's say half an hour, 45 minutes or whatever, log in and practice few of the MCQs. And then practice, I would say those MCQs or more MCQs in the night. Very important that we're not losing the rhythm on it. The only and only way to clear CPA exam is, is to practice MCQs and simulations at least three, four times. If you have done that, Bhagwan Shri Krishna bhi aapko rok nahi paenge. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I would say, um, this was like my second point. So we have, we have done that, you know, we need to plan a week. We have done that, you know, how we would do a day in terms of what we will do in the morning and what we'll do in the evening. We've done that or during the day, we've done that. The third piece is plan at least four hours on Saturdays and Sundays. Weekends should be heavy, always. I'm giving two hours from Monday to Friday and four hours on Saturdays and Sundays. I have to do that if I have to clear the exam, let's say in three to four months of time, this is the schedule you need to have for one subject. Come what may, you have to adhere to it. And I'm taking into consideration that there would be few weeks in the month ends or in the quarter ends wherein you would not be able to deliver, let's say two hours a day or four hours during the weekend. The hours may go less, but you certainly have to ensure that you are giving some number of hours to that, that week also. Do not do not miss on it. So we have done that, you know, you really need to, uh, how you really need to plan. We have done in terms of how you should be planning your day, in terms of what you should be doing in morning, what should you be doing in evening and so on and so forth. And we are also planning, you know, in terms of what you should do over the weekends. The fourth, I would say, which, which is more to do with your thought process that I really want to inculcate over here today is, that guys, if you want to clear this exam, then you have to incorporate or inculcate one feeling in yourself that is for being selfish for your own result the world will not fall if you if your performance goes from like 100% to 80% in your office the world is not falling your office is not falling your rate is rating is beyond a point if you're if you're not getting the topmost rating it is it is okay because you're planning something big down the line so it is okay that you know you are not 100% in the office for like some months. It is okay. At least if you're 80% there, it is absolutely fine. Plan that 20% and put that onto your studies. Be selfish over there. If you'll be selfish over there, you'll have a strong plan for you. You'll have a strong implementation of that for the weekdays. You'll have the strong implement implementation of that for the weekends. 
and rest is going to be history for you you would not look back and one thing to all of you who are thinking and i can tell you many of the folks say that sir we don't have time sir office is so busy sir we are not having time sir it is it is really pathetic sir i can you will not understand sir what happens in a big four sir you will not understand sir what is happening in my company sir my company is going through demerger sir my company is going through merger my company is going through acquisition and so on so forth sir sir you will not understand our situation i have been from your stage i have been through what you are going through right now at this point in time i can tell you you have time my friend you have time and you have time all that you need to do is take out that time and if you don't believe me there is a app in your mobile phone that will tell you how many hours you are spending on in terms of seeing the mobile or being on the mobile i can bet on it without even knowing you you would not have less than 2 to 3 hours a day on your mobile if you want to extract out the time extract out that time measure yourself in terms of what it was there before planning in terms of number of hours that you were spending on your mobile and what is now it has to be something like this 3 hours to 1 hour and that 2 hour spent on your preparation is that clear i can bet on it just go verify from your own mobile from the app there how many hours you are spending on on to the mobile in terms of going through the whatsapp going through facebook the and so on and so forth god knows what you do but what is imperative is that what you are supposed to do is something that should take the priority now is that clear i have worked this i have been working on this with various students around the globe they have been super successful they have cleared their cpa now working with various big time corporations i'm sure this would certainly help you too the only thing that you need to do is believe on it work on it and rest is going to be history i hope this video was helpful if yes then one like you should certainly give and of course if there is any friend of yours who is struggling to appear for the cpa exam and not to will prepare do forward him to and make him understand that what he should be doing in order to prepare that in the best possible way i'll see you again in the next one till then this punkaj tingra signing off